this will cause a cavitation and the damage of cavitation and disturbance will be generated due to cavitation. Let us go to say uh, Hg and a uh, head gain and the x. All these uh, numbers are function of the design of turbine and the type of turbine. This means it will be a function of uh, speed of turbine and RPM of turbine and the head of turbine and power output. Also the draft tube design. This means the angle of divergence and area ratio, etc. We can uh, put H game plus X as function of capital H, head of turbine, uh, as as we see here, HG plus X equal sigma multiplied by H, where sigma we call it cavitation factor, sigma. <coughs> it is a only function of a specific speed of turbine. And the H is the overall head of the turbine, which represents the uh, uh, difference between upstream and downstream water level. Now, for no cavitation, we have to state it that minus Z2 minus sigma H must be greater than H vapor minus H atmospheric. Or we can say Z2 plus sigma multiplied by H will be less than H atmospheric minus H vapor. If we know H atmospheric and H vapor and uh, head of the turbine and its uh, cavitation factor, we can obtain here from this equation, we can obtain Z, a value for Z2 for a safe condition which prevent cavitation. Okay. Here, uh, as we see a uh, Francis turbine from down, picture from down, <clears throat> we can see this swirl or this near the center, there is a, a swirl of vapor bubbles, vapor bubbles inside the runner. This means this runner sub to cavitation. Here, it is an axial uh, flow uh, turbine runner. As we see the damage on this uh, edge, on blade edge, damage due to cavitation and also in this inside the edge. Uh, and uh, this is a uh, leading and trailing edge of the, of the runner. Uh, blades, as we see here, there is a, a damage. This a start of damage due to cavitation. Okay, <clears throat> we can uh, cavitation also reduces the power output and efficiency of turbine, and shorten the turbine lifetime. Here, this table represents uh, the variation of uh, water density. And uh, with with its temperature, its temperature, and also the density of water, water as a fluid used in water turbines. Here, as the temperature increases, the vapor pressure increases in Pascal, in Pascal, and the density decreases slightly. <clears throat> Here, as we see. A verbal, uh, uh, visualization, it's a picture with an axial for axial flow turbine runner, with a cavitation or vapor formation inside the gap between uh, blades. Blades. This is uh, like a robe, a white robes. <clears throat> Here, the picture uh, also formed uh, a street of cavitation. A street of vortex, uh, vortex of vortices, train of cavitation uh, uh, bubbles. Okay, here also in a Francis turbine, the same uh, uh, street of vapor bubbles inside the 
and it's it generated inside the runner and then goes to the the uh, draft tube here a damage a damage inside the runner near the uh, uh, on the blades near the outlet near the outer diameter of the plate here a francis turban new francis turban and here after uh, working under cavitation condition this only made for uh, research in a testing lab research to subject the turban turban model actually to cavitation in order to get more information about cavitation in order to use it and the original uh, turban to prevent cavitation in it uh, here as we see a damage on the blades and uh, corrosion and etc here as as we see a damage and a wear and also corrosion uh, inside the body of the here also a cavitation and uh, cavitation uh, uh, cavitation erosion and the uh, on the blades how they get something like that in uh, turban uh, in turban lab we have a test trick to put a model inside it and subject it subject this model to cavitation through uh, this closed circuit water system we have a pump take water from this lower tank to upper tank and then goes to the uh, turbine and then to downstream level and turn the other tank tank number six and then to the lower tank number three here we have a dynamometer uh, to measure the power out of the turbine and uh, here and also the speed etc the this at uh, this uh, this trick will be uh, supplied with as uh, uh, some instrumentation to measure the speed, the power, the uh, noise, the vibration, etc. Here, as we see, at a draft tube, a draft tube with a straight uh, vapor rope uh, generated due cavitation uh, inside the pump, and that's the same, the same. Here it's a, a runner, a propeller, propeller turbine, as we see a rotating propeller turbines subjected to gravitation. Gravitation street here will be about the tips of the, around the tips of the, the turbine. Here, uh, as we see, a street of wire, of uh, ropes, of vapor ropes, due to generation of uh, cavitation bubbles inside a transparent uh, draft tube to see this antique pictures. As we see here, a damage inside the uh, turbine blades, damage due to erosion of effect of cavitation, and here also the hub itself of the axial flow turbine eroded and perforated. Uh, uh, after 25,000 hours of operation, this turbine, this turbine, uh, axial flow turbine, uh, has a cavitation with minimum cavitation, and uh, also it has uh, here uh, corrosion and also pitting, some pitting after this, about three years uh, complete working. Uh, the, how, how we get to my cavitation factor or cavitation factor? Cavitation factor, as we know, is a function of a specific speed. As specific speed increases, you can find the cavitation factor increases. Uh, actually, this is taken from uh, a reference of pumps, of turbines. And uh, for designer, we have, they have to define their, to determine their, turbine NS and then get the corresponding sigma in order to put the turbine in a position without cavitation. 
Here, as we see, uh, some turbulence and some effects of cavitation and the vapor bubble generation behind the blades. Okay. Also here, it's uh, again closed circuit uh, test rig for cavitation uh, test on the pumps, on the turbine itself. Here, as we see, a venturi meter to measure the flow rate, and here a pump. The pump actually uh, circulates the water inside this closed system in order to uh, uh, supply the turbine with a required charge and head. And then from it, we can measure the, uh, for, uh, and eight and nine, we can measure the. Uh, turbine output and also RPM and here we can hear uh, in this closed tank uh, and this number 10 part number 10 represents a vacuum pump in order to play or to vary the pressure just after the turbine inside the draft tube in order to subject the turbine to cavitation obtained before. This means uh, a drop in the efficiency will happen and a drop in power output. This means a cavitation appears. Here we can, in order to avoid cavitation, go and use cav uh, equation for to prevent uh, cavitation. Uh, uh, this means Z plus sigma uh, H less than H uh, atmospheric minus H vapor. If you know uh, H atmospheric and H vapor and sigma H, you can get Z. Z can be a positive, as we know. The datum of, of uh, here will be the uh, water level in the downstream. If the turbine uh, position Z greater than zero or HS here, this means, uh, okay, uh, turbine above the water level and if H is uh, negative or Z equal negative value we can put the turbine below the tail water or downstream level uh, the same effect uh, for for this is for Francis turbine and this is for for pillar turbine uh, and this is for a bulb turbine okay how they study cavitation, they put uh, some transducer, pressure transducers, and uh, connected it through uh, these wires uh, in order to, uh, from the face and the behind the blades, in order to get a value about the pressure distribution around the blade. Yeah, this, uh, all these points where the pressure transducers are sticked, uh, these points are connected to uh, data acquisition system through uh, these cells, through these cells, electronic cells uh, installed around the shaft of the turbine model. And also here. Uh, here is a picture for the pitting that happens during cavitation. Here is a cavitation tunnel in order to um, to study the cavitation inside uh, that happens with a propeller, uh, propellers, marine propellers. Uh, uh, as we see here, it's a marine propeller, also can be subject to cavitation. If it's rotating speed higher, rotating speed, this means the tip speed will be higher and the pressure in the, at the tip will be lower. It may uh, cause cavitation. As we see, if cavitation occurs due to the flow of water, you can see a, a straight of a of, uh, of, uh, of uh, vapor bubbles around the tip and the moving uh, in the flow itself. Uh, also, uh, companies in order to uh, produce uh, suc successive uh, product, they have to do some research, research, fluid mechanics research, and 
machines research and also materials here we have some uh, in some cases the water uh, flowing through the turbine may be silty water water with silt with small sands uh, lower aggressive sand as after several years of operation you can see erosion on the turbine blades uh, either in axle flow turbine or Francis turbine uh, due to uh, silty water <coughs> after erosion by silty water it can corrode it after some uh, some uh, several several thousands of hours we can made a uh, rehabilitation to these turbines by coating the runner the, the damaged runner by a plasma coating or ceramic coating in order to avoid the rough surfaces and keep it smooth in order to reduce uh, flow losses this uh, as we see here it's an a robot making may make the uh, plasma coat uh, here is a curve uh, representing the efficiency of the turbine uh, and the power and with its power say its power was uh, eight maximum say eight megawatts uh, this is a new uh, runner high of higher efficiency and after several years two years uh, with with uh, with rough water or silty water, you can see the effect of damage on the efficiency, lower efficiency. After uh, this, uh, we can see that about uh, say about uh, ten effect, ten percent or more drop in efficiency. Uh, in order to reduce the power loss or energy loss due to this uh, effect. We have to rehabilitate or overrule uh, the turbine, the uh, worned turbine, by a plasma coating or uh, another uh, other technique like plasma coating, like ceramic coating, etc., metal spray, etc., in order to return it to smooth uh, shape, and then the efficiency will be re. Again, re again to be uh, efficient turbine.